welcome to this video guys in this video i will explain you how to make this duct and hopper so let's begin first open a part file and change the background to plain white from here and now click on top plane and select the sketch from here select the center rectangle and make a center rectangle at this origin like this now select the smart dimensioning tool and from here specify the length of this line as 530 and the length of this line as 410 millimeter now select a center line i'm selecting here a center line to trim it so that we can flatten it in sheet metal now select your offset entities and select this line make sure to select your bi-directional and here specify 0.5 millimeter and then select trim entities and trim this and then select this line and make it as construction geometry now this is completed and now exit the sketch from here and uh, now go to features and select here plane from the reference geometry and here select the same plane on which we have created the sketch previously in my case this is top plane and here specify the offset distance as 340 millimeter and here you can see a plane at 340 millimeters from the previous plane has been created now select the plane and click on sketch select center rectangle and we are going to make the almost same procedure we are going to make a center rectangle at this region specify the length of this line here i'm specifying as 230 and specify the length of this line this is 180 and we are going to repeat the same procedure here so from here select a center line and guys make sure to make the center line that is overlapping the previous one so select your offset entities bi-directional and 0.5 check this box from here this is the same thing that we have done earlier select your trim entities tool and trim this inner line and after that select these lines and make them as construction geometry just like we have done previously but do not forget to uh, make it as construction geometry and after that exit the sketch from here now hide this plane because we do not have anything to do with this plane anymore and guys make sure that these lines are overlapping or you can say on the same line on the same direction now let me show you how you can enable the sheet metal from here when you click here sheet metal tab will get enabled from here you can select the lofted band and here make sure that you have selected the band option rather than formed this band should be selected when you select these two sketches the loft will be created from here specify 2 millimeter as sheet metal parameter and after that check this box from here a hopper like shape will be created you can specify any color from here like this you can flatten this hopper as well let me show you how this is the flattened form of this hopper and now exit the flatten from here okay and now we need a plane this plane remember this plane guys this is top plane in my case select a plane from the reference geometry and here select the top plane this plane this one and then specify the offset distance which is 50 millimeter and since i want this here so i will select your flip option so it will get flip and check this box from here now select uh, this plane and click on sketch and make a circle here i am making this circle here for reference and we need to enable the surfaces tab as well from here you can enable the surfaces tab go in the surface tab and select planner surface when you select this circle and check this box from here a surface will be created here it will be used as a reference 
let me show you how go to sheet metal tab and select your edge flange and you can select this edge and click here and now let's specify the length of this edge i'm specifying here as 40 millimeter now select all outer edges one by one these all will have 40 mm length as i have specified here earlier and here you can see guys the direction of this edge we want it upward so click here and select this circle this is not uh, where we want when we select this perpendicular it will get downward shape but we want upward shape when we select here this arrow it will get our desired shape uh, in our desired shape and direction and from here you can uh, specify the material inside or material outside which we which we want so i'm specifying a material outside and check this box from here and here you can see this edge has been created and now select the plane one that we have uh, make earlier so select this plane and click on sketch from here select a center rectangle and here one more time we are going to repeat few steps that we know how to do it here specify the length of this line 184 and specify the length of this line as well and uh, this is going to be 234 and remember where is the where the cut is you need to make the center line in the same direction so specifying your vertical relation and when you, you select this offset entity is bi-directional 0.5 millimeter this line will get created now trim entities i want to trim these lines after trimming it select this line and make it as construction geometry both of these lines will be converted as construction geometry then exit the sketch from here and now i want to make another sketch for that i need a plane this is the right plane that that is cutting this hopper in half so select this right plane and click on sketch after that select a line and make here a straight line to make sure that this is straight select it and give it a vertical relation and after that select here three point arc one two and three these three points will get selected and then make a vertical line here just make and incline this line uh, line and select this line and uh, select the horizontal relation now select this point and make it as tangent select this point and make it as tangent we are almost done now let's specify the parameters the length of this line is 120 millimeter the radius of this three point arc let's specify 180 millimeter and uh, the length of this line this would be somewhat bigger so 630 i'm specifying and now exit the sketch from here we have two sketches and we will use it in sweep command so here in sheet metal we have swept flange in this you can see profile and path in profile we need to sketch this rectangular sketch that we have created earlier and for path we need to select the latest sketch this one and here you can see the hopper like shape is created although it comes with an error but that's how we used to create hopper and this duct like shape in solidworks